going on everybody it's your boy the slap train and welcome back guys to forza horizon 2 man it's been a minute i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's been quite a while since we've been on forza and we are greeted with the brand new march dlc pack now i wanted to focus on one car in particular for today and that was the 2014 volkswagen beetle grc now this is Tanner Falls car right now. This was his pack. This was his shine this month, man. I wanted to test this thing out. One six liter, 536 horses, zero to 60 in under two, or sorry, I think it's two seconds flat if I'm not mistaken, and weighing 2,600 pounds. Now this is an all wheel drive monster that I just could not restrain myself from using, man. This thing is going to be an absolute monster. I would love for you guys to comment in the description box down below of what car you guys would like to see next done here from the March DLC pack. Um, let's see what exactly we have to do. Now we can make this back into rear wheel drive, which is nice. Uh, I like to see that. We have some tire compounds here, which I may just stick with the stock tires. Um, I'm very kind of thrown off that this doesn't already have rally tires included on it. Um, but that is... Actually, you know what? Ooh, what the hell? Are these tires actually a better grip? Uh, I think that's just the way the rally tires are, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the fronts on these, we have 240s. Matched on the rears, we have 240s all around, looks like. We're going to be leaving this thing completely stock for today's drive. I really wanted to just showcase this car just for what it has to offer out of the box. Now we can do restrictor plates which would bring this up to 774 horsepower. We're going to drive this stock and then come back in here to really get this thing going on the restrictor plates. We're going to take them off later just to see how this thing's going to go. Stock tuning on this uh, very much full of camber man. 3 and 3.5 on the rear. Uh, roll bars seem nice and soft. Obviously, the springs are soft. Uh, you know, you want to keep that rally feel to it. The differential seems okay. More, obviously, to the rear. And uh, looks like we're good to go, man. We have an absolute monster here. And I cannot be more happy to be driving this thing on Forza Horizon 2. I was pretty stoked to see this in. Um, I know there was a lot of people that kind of... They were kind of iffy about the pack. And I mean, I'd love to know your thoughts about the pack in the comment section down below. Personally, I like it. I, I think we have a really good majority of cars. Um, a lot of newer cars as well, too. You know, I did put out a tweet later or sorry, earlier yesterday just kind of talking about it and just saying, you know, how I wasn't really too impressed with the pack. But when I got home and can actually, you know, see what the cars were, because obviously they didn't put out a video yesterday, um, I actually got to see some of the vehicles. And they did look very nice so i'm pretty pumped to see all those cars in the next couple of damn videos and leave me your thoughts on which one to do next now i'm pretty hyped to see what this thing can do i'm loving this in dash right now man look at the damn speedometer digital dash on here we got the whole damn volkswagen racing wheel i don't even know looks like my wheel to be honest man he copied my wheel you know what i'm saying Alright, so we're going to put this thing through its paces on the tarmac as well as in the dirt just to try to see what's going on. Woo! This thing hauls some ass through these gears right now, man. Oh my god. Handling is beautiful. I just put it in the seventh gear by accident. It doesn't have a seventh gear. Oh my god. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. Here we go. Brakes on here are very nice. The car seems very balanced. Um, you know, coming through these sections right here, you know, even in the high third gear revs, uh, you know, the braking on it is very nice. We're gonna hit that e-brake. Oh, look at that grip up, man. I was expecting it to just shred tires in second gear. But it looks like this is more of kind of just a straight up monster acceleration, man. Look at this. Woo! Maxes it out at 150. Oh, phone booth. 151. And um, wow, man. This thing. I would be excited to get this thing in a full race of just straight beetles, man. Forza Horizon Rally. Oh, whew, you know what I'm saying? It would be vicious right now, man. Just shift lock it. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, it just wants to hook back up. Obviously, this is all-wheel drive. Cannot be too 
surprised on that. We're gonna go ahead and just drop it. Do some donuts. Let's see how this thing goes. Now, one thing that I do need to do is I just gotta lower my force feedback a little bit. Um, this thing just is way too damn stiff right now on the wheel. And uh, obviously the cars are always different, so you always got to kind of play around with some of them. I usually don't have to, um, but it, this is just, it's way too damn powerful on the force feedback that I can't even really bring it back sometimes. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's a transit van, my bad, my bad. go man that second gear just does not have a lot of pull to it a um, little bit disappointed on that if you will now, obviously this is not a Gymkhana car so it's set up more for rally racing so really I can't even talk about that you know for in terms of power slides and such but we are pushing about 570 horsepower we're going through damn shrubbery right now Number 34. I like it. Oh, threw some of the damn. Okay. We just went through that man's store right there. My bad, man. My bad. Look at this thing. I gotta say, I like the aggressiveness of this car, man. You know, the wing, um, you know, everything from the interior just completely stripped. I love this car, man. Absolutely do. I didn't think I was gonna like this thing, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I seen the Beetle. As soon as I saw the Beetle, I'm like, oh my god, another damn bunk car pack. And then I looked at it, and it wasn't bad. Whoo! We got her, man. We got her. Now, I would like to take this thing onto some damn rally courses here, just to try to see, you know, how this thing is going to hold in the streets of Forza Horizon 2 Storm Island, man. So let's go ahead, and we're going to take a look. Oh, shit. We're going to take a look at Storm Island and see what we can do. Alright, so here we are at the main section of Storm Island. I really wanted to get a good test of this thing, um, you know, actually in the rally environment. So I think this is going to be a good test to see how well that this thing is actually going to throw down. Um, we're not going to be doing any races as of yet just because I don't think that I can set up anything right now. But we will get into some more actual online stuff with this thing very soon. I'm pretty pumped to actually see what this thing can do online though, so that should be a lot of fun. And actually, you know what we could do? I didn't even think about this. We're gonna go ahead and hit up the festival to change our setup because we're gonna be able to hopefully change to an S2 class and then in turn throw down in some races. So I just kind of thought of that, man. Top of my head right there, you know, not bad, not bad right there. Oh my god. Alright, let's go, man. I'm praying that we can change to an S2 class. I really am. Let's go ahead and change this setup right here. Um, in progress. Ooh, we can't. Okay. We haven't even done... Ooh, what the hell is this? Oh, we did that. Okay, tier 6. We're in tier 5 still? Oh my god, I gotta get back into this, man. It's been so long. Looks like we ain't doing that any damn time soon. Okay, that's fine though, that's fine. We are in this area. We're gonna go ahead and do a little test drive of this bone dry stock and then we're gonna go back in and we're gonna go and uh, take off these restrictor plates and just see how badass that this thing is gonna be oh shit now I'm gonna follow this main road right here and again this is not the best view out of this beetle oh, shit oh it's a shortcut man it's a shortcut see what I say we're back on the road don't worry about it Handling on this is very nice. Um, I didn't think it was going to be as agile as this, but obviously with that all-wheel drive system and, you know, probably the upgrades that they've already put into this, it is a monster on here, man. And you know, I can feel comfortable taking these outside lines. Even right there, I mean, usually my butthole would be puckered up right there in any other car. It is fine with the Volkswagen, man. It was fine. Excuse me, you gotta go. Look at that, just maxing it right out. 
Ooh, we're hauling right here, man. 150 going around Storm Island. We're gonna hit this damn jump right here, whatever this is. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's a tree. Never mind, that's not a jump. Ooh. Oh! Trees! I can't see a damn thing! Oh my god, we're getting some serious air right now. I see the outpost on the map. Oh, okay. I mean, the car does feel very nice on these rally sections. And um, I mean, just in terms of the set, the suspension setup is mint. Oh, I was hoping I was going to be able to get it right there. Now, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Whether or not, you know, you're a fan of this bug. Should it have been in this pack? Hey, don't Let shy. me Come on know, in. ladies Let's and gentlemen. Alright, so here we go. We're going to take off these restrictor plates. Um, I have no idea what is about to happen. I mean, this thing is about to throw down right now. And I'm not even going to kid you. This is going to be some insane shit, man. Here we go. Now, what I'd like to do is actually go down this way. Oh, my God. Now we got that second gear wheel spin that I was talking about. Now, I don't know if our gears stayed the same. I'm pretty sure that they did. Well, let's find out. This thing is a beast. If you take the restrictor plates off, I highly recommend upgrading your brakes to go with it. This really makes me want to play dirt. We cut the gap if we can. Look at that. Excuse me, man. Tanner Falls here trying to get through. Whew. We're taking the shortcut. Oh, shit. That's not a shortcut. All right. So what I'd like to do... Oh, look at this little triangle right here, man. This Bermuda Triangle. We're going to go ahead and just drift this if possible or power slide at one or the other. Come on, second gear. Show your dominance. And I just wish that I could have a dedicated handbrake on this game, man. It would be absolutely mint if I could have a dedicated handbrake. But unfortunately, I got a damn clutch kick it and just hit this little damn button on my controller on my wheel. It's not very satisfying. I'm not going to lie to you. So... Hopefully we see a handbrake attachment come out for the Xbox One. That'd be beautiful. Oh, man. This is one badass bug, man. I gotta say, um, I am pretty I'm pretty happy about this mod, man. Oh, shit. Okay. So my final thoughts about this bug. I mean, I, I gotta say, I am so hyped that it's in here now. Um, I'm going to probably look forward to doing a little bit more rally kind of focus on this game. Um, you know, I wasn't really a fan of the rally too much, but obviously, you know, as it goes on, we get more cars focused on rally. Um, and it just kind of, you have to follow suit, if you will. So, look for some more rally racing. I'd love to do, you know, a big live comm doing some of these races, you know, showcasing some of these rally cars. So, definitely look forward to that. Um, I thank you guys very much for coming around today to check out this bug man i mean as i said leave me any of your comments in the below section you know your thoughts what cars you gotta like to see done next just leave them all down there man if you guys are new to the channel though don't forget to subscribe become a member of team slap today oh i don't know what that was going down we hit a rock we hit a rock okay no comment about the rock absolutely no comments jeez man but if you guys are new to the channel though, don't forget to subscribe, become a member of Team Slap today to start spinning some damn tires with us. And as well too guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which, ooh, look at this pathway, all of which are found in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Volkswagen Bug Tanner Falls Edition right now, man. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Slap Train, I'm out. Peace. Welcome back guys.